Marky Mark's DIY. I'm Amber. And I'm Marky Mark. And today we are pulling down that tree. So what I need you to do is all you got to do is hold the rope. I'm going to cut halfway through the tree until it starts to teeter. Then I'm going to go up there and tighten up on the rope. It's wrapped a loop around the tree, and at that time I'll need your pole to take the slack out. And as the tree tilts the way I want it to fall, then I'll go back and finish the cut. Too, since I had real bad leverage on the rope, so I'm going to get one in back first, which has to be along the front. Strong loom up as high as you can get it. So it's about height? The more height you got, the better leverage you got. I can pull a tree a lot easier from the top than I can the bottom. That's Abel. Say hi, Abel. <laughs> Can you 
very dangerous. One of the things you saw yesterday was kickback. And I anticipated, <laughs> I anticipated that happening just because the uh, tree I was cutting was going to hit another tree. Oh, I don't know, maybe five to ten feet up. So that was going to be the pivot point, which means the bottom of the tree where I cut was coming up in the air. And of course, you need to be prepared for that, which you never are. I think I have a knot. Other than the other usual safety measures using a chainsaw, that itself can kick back the pinches. Are there things to do to avoid that? Yeah, there is. You have to pay attention to your cut. For example, if you were just cut straight through, the tree is going to lean toward that cut and pinch your saw. That's one of the reasons for cutting a wedge in the tree. The other reason would be guiding the tree where you want it. Mind your footing. The biggest tree you've ever felled? The biggest tree I've ever felled was 52 inches at the base. What kind? White oak. There have been a few that weren't far behind that. There have been a few more that weren't far behind that. Pretty much uh, limited to the chainsaw bar length as to what I can cut. If you're cutting down different types of trees, do they react differently to the type of tree? Oh yeah. Some of them will snap. Of course that depends on whether they're also dead or living. Or diseased. Moisture content. That's right. A lot of trees, you don't know what's inside of them. Pin oaks love to have red ants live in them, which means they were hollow. And you couldn't tell that until you got it on the ground. And it's time to move the camera so it might not be in the way. Here we go. Rotted? That side is, yeah. That's not good. That'll probably snap. Which is going to make this next cut very tricky. Be careful. Well, the problem is it may go all of a sudden a little bit quicker than the other ones. So, be ready for that. Keep a little tension on it. Oh! Uh -huh. 
We got the tree off of the shed and he's doing a little repair now for uh, shoring that up. We're discussing about replacing it or if we can get it fixed up back in halfway decent. It's actually like a plastic shed but it's a very nice plastic shed. It's got like corrugated, almost like greenhouse panels on it. And the company is actually no longer in business. Um, so we might have to end up putting a new shed in or he might get this fixed up enough. That will be, have to be a long-term budget thing. In the meantime, the chickens are amongst the tree debris. Hey, chick, 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 chick. Come on. Come on. Come on, chick, 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 chick. Come on, chick, 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 chick. Come on. Here, chick, 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 are you going to lead the way, Violet? Yeah. It's a chick break.
Well, this is the final cleanup for the tree cutting. So if anybody has any marshmallows and hot dogs, bring them on over. <laughs> and while you're at it, hit the like button and the subscribe button. Leave a comment.